which VST plugins that I'm using on my voice in OBS in the plugin settings. So if you guys haven't checked already, the configuration tutorial I made for FL Studio and OBS for Windows, check that out. It will teach you how to do side chaining to make sure that it's clean from the music that you play back in FL and your voice. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I have my desktop audio, I have my microphone. This is my Blue Yeti. I'm gonna click the three dots here and go to filters. And we can see here native audio plugins, but also third party. So the native one I'm using here first, compressor, it is receiving the ducking source, the side chain from desktop audio. That way when I play back sound, music in FL, it will duck my voice. It will make sure that my voice is muted with this significant threshold, significant ratio, and a very quick attack and release. Next, I actually have on here a plugin Voxengo MSED. The reason why I have this is that I'm just interested in my voice in mono. And sometimes there can be artifacts that go stereo or sometimes your microphone might be whack and something goes in stereo and I just wanna hear myself in the middle. So what I do actually is I put this next and I mute the side channel. Keeps everything nice and mono, nice in the center. Next, I have FabFilter Pro Q3. And I highly recommend this preset. If you guys just want a quick and easy preset, you can go ahead and access this just at the bottom vocal. And it's very clean. It rolls off the lows. Obviously, it could be more surgical than this, but it's a very clean preset. Rolls off the lows and we get a little bit of high-end boost. Finally, I put on FabFilter Pro L2, and the reason why I do this is because that YouTube is gonna cap things, right? A lot of services now, be it Spotify, YouTube, they do that minus 12 luffs, minus 14, so I increase the gain of my voice. Now, adjust this to your liking. I increase the gain plus 12 dB, and I bring it down minus 12 dB. Uh, you can see that I put the final output at minus 12.1. And the reason why I do this, and I'll show later, is that I make sure that my music is at minus 12, like hard capped in OBS, and this is also, so that my speaking is not significantly louder than the music, or vice versa. We wouldn't want the music to be zero dB and then super quiet vocals, or super loud vocals and super quiet music. This way, they're both normalized to minus 12. Everything else is pretty much default. Tailor this however you'd like. I do like the safe style when I'm doing stuff where I want to really preserve it and be gentle. So because I'm being more gentle with this, albeit we do have a lot of peak reduction at times, I like the safe mode for that. Finally, we can see that I reduced the desktop audio output from zero dB down to minus 12. That way in FL Studio, when it's doing its native limiting in there, whether it's Pro L2, whether it's Fruity Limiter, at the end, OBS will take that, bring it down to minus 12, my voice is minus 12, as we can see here, it's not exceeding that. And then that way the MP4 that I have has a final output with two audio tracks, a minus 12 with all the music and sound in FL Studio, and a minus 12.1 with the microphone uh, from all the settings and everything that we adjusted there. So adjust it to your liking. This again was just a recap to show you guys what you can do in the filters to make your voice a little bit cleaner quickly. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash up the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that way you're alerted of the daily uploads. And if you guys have a track that you want to submit for feedback, you can send that to me on my SoundCloud, Ali Nadem. Send me a DM, and I may feature it in a future video. Take care, have a great day.